to you from my eight bed hostel room. I kind of like this backdrop a lot. I think it's very like travel, you know? Everybody already checked out. I'm here for another night. That's why there's no one here. And thank goodness because can you imagine someone laying right here watching me vlog? <laughs> So we are in Cologne, Germany, and I trained in here from Munich. It took about four hours and a half on the ice train. So this is the first class train. That's what it looks like. These are the bathroom, because I know that's always of interest. Oh, hello, are you a vlogger? ACP Rail is the company that sells discounted rail passes and train passes for all of Europe and also like Australia, Japan, and beyond. And they sent me a German rail pass. German rail pass is basically one pass to trade all across Germany. Okay, so how the rail pass works, I got the one month I think I can travel for five days, which means within a month, I can have five days of travel. So today is my one day of travel. In three days, I'll probably use the second one. In yeah. another three days, I'll probably use the third one. Which and is. when you're on the train, the staff member is going to come, validate your ticket, and write it in. So it's pretty simple. Oh my gosh, there is Wi-Fi. You literally have one ticket for all of your train travels. The best part is you can just kind of hop on. So if you guys are interested in just having one pass to get across Europe, because you can literally go from Madrid to Berlin to Amsterdam, all with one pass, I'll leave all the information in the description below. So you can get your train on! Choo choo! Alright, let's start with today. So today, we are going on a food crawl with just me. Just me and you. Just us. Together. I usually find like a local tour guide, but couldn't find anyone today. So I consulted a bunch of locals, the hostel staff, even people I bought stuff from at the store. I found a couple of German cuisine and dishes that is traditional to Cologne. To where we are. Well, I hope you guys are hungry because I am starving. And we're gonna eat a lot today. And when do we not eat a lot? <laughs> come on, come on, you guys, you guys know who you following? Dang, dang, dang. Food tour, food crawl, ugh, let's do it. <laughs> Himma? 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 Okay, thank you. <laughs> I always ask for the pronunciation, but it's really hard to say German. English is not even my first language, so if I butcher it, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna try my best. Okay. Cathedral, which is one of Germany's most famous landmark and one of the most famous cathedral in the world. It took over 600 years to build. It was bombed 14 times in World War II. I know, right? Also in there is the largest swingy bell in a church in the world as well. So, <laughs> I mean, just look at its size. It's massive. This is actually the fourth tallest church building in the world. I think at some point it was the tallest, but you know, people advanced. The cool thing about this whole area is Right here is the main train station, and then right next to it, when you exit, is the cathedral. So, oh, what, do you, what do you know, huh? They make it real easy for us. Like I should take this time to tell you guys a little bit about Cologne. So Cologne is a city in western Germany that borders Belgium and the Netherlands and it's on both sides of the Rhine River. It's about a 2,000 year old city and it's really the cultural hub of this region in Germany. It's also the fourth largest city here in Germany next to Berlin, Hamburg, and Munich. Hmm. Okay, we're almost at our spot so hope you guys are ready. Start with something like that, okay. and when you have more hunger, you 
order oh, the half chicken. Okay. Otherwise, it's uh, too much for you. Oh, right? yeah, so both. B both. Yeah, both. Both. Yeah, half, yeah. half chicken and himlen egg. Yes. 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 All right, so guys, we are at our first stop. It's a pretty traditional beer house here in Cologne. I'll link the address in the description below if you guys want to come check it out. So, of course, it is noon time, which means it is time for beer. Beer in Germany is serious business. Serious. which is the official beer of Cologne. When it was first introduced in 1918, it wasn't very popular because it was very light and Germans weren't used to that, but now it is very popular. Let's give it a try. Super refreshing. It's like a light ale. It's got this beautiful straw yellow hue to it. Gosh, I can, I can have another. I can have another. I'm trying not to drunk vlog. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By the way, you guys, they immediately handed me this pot of yellow mustard. Yes. we have here is called the Hovenhag and I hope I'm saying that right. Translation is actually half a rooster or half a chicken but there's no chicken in this dish at all. It's actually a very basic traditional sandwich that you can find in almost any brew house here in Cologne. We got the basic ingredients. We have bread, big 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 slice of gouda cheese, raw onion, oh almost dropped it, and of course there's some butter here. Usually it's served like this and you should put it together yourself. I'm not sure if you eat this more for lunch, for breakfast, or dinner, but I just know if I order one of this, I'm done. I'm full. Mm. Mm. I will be honest, it's literally just cheese and bread and onion with butter. So you can imagine what that's like, right? There's something about that raw onion that just gives us the most refreshing bite. I mean, with beer, I think it's a good snack with beer. Yeah. The next dish we have is the Himong on Ed. The literal translation is heaven and earth. And at first when you look at it, you might not understand. But what it means is the mashed potato is the earth and the apple puree is the heaven. So it's all mixed in together on this. And of course, on top right here, this is fried black pudding. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, I can't wait to dig into this. I'm like salivating because I've never seen anything like this before. Oh my gosh, look at look at this pudding. It's got such a weird texture to it. It's got this reddish brown color in it. It's mushy. Let's get some onions. We have this massive, massive bite. We have the fried pudding on there. We have the puree and mashed potato. We got a little bit of onions. Here we go. Oh. That was a lot of flavor. <laughs> there was a lot going on in my mouth. You'll notice in this big pile of mash that there's little apple pieces here and it gives it that little bit of sweetness. It's pretty good. Mm. Real flavor comes from the black pudding. It gives you that salty, savory flavor that you need. When I say black pudding, this is referring to like pork blood. So black pudding is a type of blood sausage. And look at that. You can see that. Yep. You know, like they mash them a ton of sausage and then they put it into this little moon-shaped pudding. Basically, it's a hearty plate of sausage and mash. It's got a taste of sweetness from the apple. And I mean... Gosh. Personally, I much more prefer the actual sausage, not mashed up like this. There's a lot of mushiness going on in this dish. Some people might like it. I don't know. Would you eat it? Comment below. I am so full. Ah. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm so full. I think we're going to wait a bit before we go to the next stop for our final dish because I know that it's gonna be filling as well. So what we're gonna do is grab some coffee, much needed.
But before that, I need to grab some postcards. So let's see if we can find it on the way. So I found these super cute postcards. It says Dom, sweet Dom. They're like a euro each. I think they're more special than, you know, those like weird old looking photos of some place and then like ugly script character of the city or something, I don't know. But these postcards are from my Patreon, so I have a Patreon page. It's basically a way for people to support creators on a reoccurring basis. As you can imagine, creators don't really make that much money off YouTube, so Patreon I think is a great way. And if you guys want a postcard or just want to support this channel, go to patreon.com slash and you get some love in your mailbox too. If you want, no pressure though. All right, I got my postcard. Says Dom, sweet Dom. Here it goes. Bye bye. <sighs> yes. <laughs> okay, so the next place we're going to doesn't open until another 10 minutes. The next item, I was talking to my hostel staff and he said that nowadays people don't really eat this unless you're actually from Cologne. So that's gonna be interesting. I mean, what's the point of travel anyways, right? To definitely try new things, especially if you're here where things originated from. We're basically in this whole area. And at the end of the day, I would love to be by the river to wrap up the vlog. See you guys with food. Try the last dish. It was super dark in there, so I kind of just ah, there's a bee, there's a bee. I kind of just walked around and found this restaurant over here. It has a pretty good review. A dish that I didn't try but is really popular here is like the huge pork knuckle. I think you may have seen it in the Munich food video. If you haven't already, go 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 watch it. I'm pretty excited to try this last thing, but let's be honest, I'm still really 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 full from our last meal, which was like two hours ago. <laughs> which is basically met on a bun and met is raw pork sausage so you can see right here it's literally a slap of pork sausage with some raw onions on top there is a bit of a trend with German food sausage bread onions all the good stuff you know I think when a lot of people see this dish they might be kind of like oh I don't know about that eating raw meat on a bun in Vietnamese cuisine there's this dish where it's just raw slices of beef and then they just drench a ton of lime on it so when I think about like raw eating raw meat, I think about that all the time. Also pho with raw meat on the side. So this doesn't really scare me. Um, what I'm just curious about is how it tastes because I don't know if they put any seasoning in this. Are you guys ready? We're gonna try it. <laughs> Surprisingly, really good. Mm. It's very, very light. The meat just gives you a little bit of salty flavor with that raw onion crunch and the bread. I mean, this is just a delicious snack, I think. You must have beer with this, I will say, because the meat might get a little bit too salty. But honestly, you guys, this isn't bad at all. It's pretty good. Raw pork sausage really just melts in your mouth. I think the first two dishes that we tried was really, really heavy. If you're just looking for a light snack and something to go well with your beer, this is really the way to go. And you just gotta get over the fact that it's raw meat, but really, it doesn't taste bad at all. It's walking along the Rhine River as you can see it is such an awesome area there's just people sitting on the benches enjoying the view so if you guys come to Cologne I think you really need to come to this area just this is the bridge 
river. There's also seatings over there where you can sit. That's awesome. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's little food tour, food crawl. Those are traditional dishes from Cologne. I think you noticed some patterning with German food, lots of bread. They get really creative with their meat. You can have it mashed in sausage, on the bone, in a pudding, <laughs> right? Whether or not you eat the food, I think it's good to see what kind of ingredients other country, you know, have in their food, how they present it, the flavor, the texture. So I hope today you learned a little bit about German food. Please give this video a big thumbs up. All right, and comment some lovely words below. I'm gonna enjoy the view and have a relaxing last few hours here in Cologne. I'll see you guys in another city here in Germany. Bye-bye.